All right, this lesson is about bow tie angles, also called reference angles. We also call this reference angles. What are they? Well, they are angles that are equally distant, equally distant from the x-axis. And they're very handy. We see in this pic diagram here that we have a theta, what we call a theta. We call we also call it theta prime. And then we have this angle and this angle and this angle. They are all the same degree. And they're all called reference angles. The distinction we want to make is theta versus theta prime. Theta is the actual angle. Actual angle. And then I'm also going to say rotation complete, rotation from zero, from zero degrees. So this angle right here, uh, this would be from, from zero all the way around to here, has a theta prime of, let's say, 25, but its theta, its actual angle, its actual amount of rotation from zero will be greater than 180. How much greater than 180? Well, 180 plus theta prime. So theta prime is the distance from the x-axis. Okay? So let's make a chart or over here how we figure out the actual angle versus the theta prime. So in the first quadrant, I'm going to draw a little quadrant here. This is our y-axis. This is our x-axis. In the first quadrant, theta, the actual angle, equals theta prime. In the second, so this is first quadrant, in the second quadrant, theta, which is the amount of rotation from zero, equals 180 minus theta prime. And in the third quadrant, theta equals, well, it's rotation from zero all the way around here, it's 180 degrees plus theta prime. And then I'll do a different color again. Switch here. In the fourth quadrant, theta equals, well, let's start from zero. We go all the way around. We're here. We know this is theta prime. So theta is equal to 360 degrees minus theta prime. So first quadrant, theta equals theta prime. Second quadrant, theta equals 180 minus theta prime, third quadrant, theta 180 plus theta prime, and fourth quadrant, 360 minus theta prime. We do have to remember that. Memorize it, if you will, or draw a picture. So if theta prime is 25, and in quadrant 2, what is the actual value of theta? Well, then theta will be, uh, looking over in quadrant 2, theta will be 180 minus 25, which equals 165 degrees. Now, if theta prime is 72 and theta is in quadrant four, then I look over at this formula and I say theta equals 360 minus the theta prime of 72 degrees, which gives me 288 degrees. All right, let's go the, look at it the opposite way. What if we know what theta is and we want to know the value of the reference angle of theta prime? Well, um, I look at this theta and I, I'm going to draw it. Theta equals 252. So theta is somewhere in the third quadrant, right? Because I know it's greater than 180 but less than 270. So what I want to know is this amount, theta prime. What is this amount? So I think about it, third quadrant. Well, that's going to be the amount, the total amount of the angle, 252, minus what I know 180. And that will leave me with this piece that I don't know, which is theta prime. So theta prime will be 252 minus 180, which I'll do that on my calculator and get 72 degrees. And that means that this piece right here is 72 degrees. 180 plus 72 is 252. Another one. Theta is 110. So I sketch it and I say, well, I know 110 is somewhere in the second quadrant. There it is. That is 110. What is the value of theta prime? Well, theta prime is right here. 
So how do I find theta prime? Theta prime is equal, well I know the total, 180 minus 110, will give me a theta prime of 70 degrees. Okay, so those are reference angles and some of the ways we work with them. All right.